Good morning, friends. Happy Saturday. It's about five minutes to 7 a.m. I am at the grocery store, so I'm going to run in, grab my groceries for the week. So I'm going to be shopping this week at both Fred Meyer, which is a Kroger store, and also at Trader Joe's. So you're going to see quite a fun haul. You're going to see quite a bit of fun stuff from Trader Joe's. I'm actually going to spend a little bit of time in the store kind of walking around, scanning things, seeing if I can find some new and exciting things to share with all of you guys. So I will be home in just a little bit to share this week's grocery haul. I'll also be sharing this week's meal plan with you as well. So if you want to see what I picked up for the upcoming week from both Fred Meyer and Trader Joe's, plus what's on my meal plan, all you have to do is stay tuned. So here is this week's grocery haul. Again, this is from Fred Meyer and Trader Joe's. It is quite a large haul. I need a lot of produce and I need to stock up on my hamburger and a few other things at Trader Joe's. So let's get into this week's grocery haul. So first, as usual, I grabbed a nice fresh bunch of flowers from Trader Joe's. I love their flowers and they're only $3.99 and these will last two to three weeks. So I love that. So I picked up a fresh bunch of flowers. Some Cool Whip Light. This is for Angel Food Cake and Strawberries that we're going to be having tonight for dinner for dessert. And I'm just going to throw this into the fridge. I generally get the Fred Meyer brand, but this one was actually on sale. So this is the Cool Whip Light. Whatever's left over, we can use for desserts. My very favorite eggs, the Happy Eggs. They were not on sale, unfortunately. So they were $4.99 a dozen, but in my opinion, it is worth it because they are the best eggs ever. I love them. Also at Trader Joe's, I grabbed some frozen veggies. So first I picked up soy catash. I love this so much. It's soybeans and corn or edamame and corn and little red peppers. I absolutely love this. It is so good. Also, you know I love the frozen Brussels sprouts from Trader Joe's. So I grabbed two bags of frozen Brussels sprouts. And then this was a new find for me. This is the quinoa duo with vegetable melange. And I scanned this and it is only four smart points for a cup. So I thought that that was not bad. It has quinoa and veggies. So I thought this would be a nice side for dinner. So that was my frozen veggies from Trader Joe's. I also grabbed two packages of this Grillmates Brazilian Steakhouse Marinade Mix. And this is for tonight. I'm going to marinate up some steak and chicken for kebabs. That's what we're going to have for dinner. So I grabbed two packages. I wasn't sure how many I would need. And then this is the steak that I'm using for the kebabs. It is already pre-cut into little squares, which makes it so easy to throw on a skewer. So that is for tonight's dinner. They had a fantastic deal on the Hillshire Farm sausages. So they were $1.88 each, which is a steal. So I grabbed a turkey polka kielbasa and also a turkey smoked sausage. I'm just gonna throw these in the fridge. This is great to make for breakfast, lunch. It's an easy thing to throw on the grill for dinner. So I'll just throw those into the freezer. Couldn't pass up that deal. Of course, at Trader Joe's, I stocked up on my extra lean 96 four ground beef. Best price in my area at $5.49 each. So I picked up three pounds. And again, I'll just throw that into the freezer. Lemon extract. This is for actually a collab video that I have coming out at the beginning of July. And I'm really excited for the recipe that I'm making. And it called for pure lemon extract. Also, a new find at Trader Joe's was this Trader Joe's barbecue rub and seasoning with coffee and garlic. Um, yum. This sounds so good. I mean, you can put it on just about anything. It says any meat or poultry just before cooking. So I was really excited to find that. I want to say it was $2.29. And of course, it's zero points because it's zero calories. So really excited about this new rub. Also, fat-free sour cream to have on hand and for some recipes, and then low-fat cottage cheese. I've been on a cottage cheese kick again, so I picked up both the cottage cheese and the sour cream. Also from Trader Joe's, I stocked up on my very favorite vanilla, 
If you love vanilla extract, this pure bourbon vanilla is the best from Trader Joe's. This is four ounces and it's $9.99. I paid $5 for less than one ounce at the grocery store. So this is a fantastic deal. And this literally is the best vanilla extract on the market. I love it. Also, Las Palmas enchilada sauce. This is for an upcoming dinner recipe. At the end, I'll be showing you my meal plan. So this will be able to tie into that. You'll see how it all kind of ties together. Also, baked beans. This is for dinner tonight when my in-laws come over. Five smart points for half a cup, so not bad. I scanned all of them, and this is one of the 5.1s. By the way, there are none that are less than five. So it's definitely kind of an indulgent thing, but a half a cup is a good amount for a side. Bolt House Ranch, just to have on hand for salads and, and veggies. I actually had a coupon for 80 cents off, so I wanna say this was just about $3 with that coupon. And this ranch, you can have three tablespoons for two smart points, so not bad. Also for today, and then whatever's left over for snacking, I grabbed the white cheddar poppables. I love these. You can have 28 of these for five smart points, or you can knock down the amount for four smart points. And of course, I'll have that here on the screen, but these poppables are so good. They also had a sale at Fred Meyer on the International Delight Creamer, so I decided to go ahead and get the Sugar-Free Caramel Macchiato. I've actually never had this one. I normally buy the sweet cream from Coffee Mate, but these were $2, I think, on sale, so I grabbed the Sugar-Free Caramel Macchiato, and of course, the points are here on the screen. It may differ a little bit. I'm not sure on that one. I also had to pick up some red wine vinegar. This is for the marinade, and I realized that my red wine vinegar that I had expired in 2017, so it's time. It's time to buy a new bottle. So I went ahead and grabbed that. Also at Trader Joe's, I always pick up these grain-free dog treats with peanut butter and banana. My dogs are grain-free and they are also chicken-free, so they can't have out either of those things, and these are really good. They're the perfect size for a quick treat, and they're cheap, $2.99, I think, for the box. Also, light mayo. This was also on sale for $1.49, which is such a great deal. So I picked this up just to have on hand as a backup. I think we're over halfway through our mayo as it is. So for some canned goods, I also grabbed my green beans for my dogs. Of course, you know they get these with dinner as their little treat. Also, I needed some sliced olives, and this is for an upcoming dinner recipe. Same with these mushrooms. I decided to get the button mushrooms instead of the stems in pieces because I think it's weird. I'd rather actually have full mushrooms and pay a little bit more. So I grabbed the button mushrooms. And then a can of fat-free refried beans. And this is for a dinner recipe this upcoming week. Turkey pepperoni, I am making a casserole that I cannot wait to share with you guys that uses pepperoni. So I grabbed Hormel turkey pepperoni. I really like these no sugar added fruit cups. Both myself and my husband really like these. So I grabbed the no sugar added mandarin oranges. They're in water, so they are zero points. And they are so good. I really, really enjoy the mandarin oranges. And then for today, for dinner, I grabbed the angel food cake. I wasn't sure the points. I Today is my day that I use a lot of my points. I'm on the Wendy plan currently, so this is my high point day. So I know this is six servings. I may have to adjust my serving size, but angel food cake for the strawberry and whipped cream dessert. Also, as weird as this is, I picked up a package of the chicken top ramen. This is for my lunches this next week. I cannot wait to make this recipe. And it actually calls for one package of chicken top ramen. So there you have it. Another new find at Trader Joe's. I've heard of these. I've just never purchased them. I was really excited. These are the mini hold the cone. So I heard that not only are they chocolate dipped, but the entire cone is lined with chocolate and ice cream goes all the way down. So yes, please. These are only four smart points. So I thought that was not bad. They had both vanilla and chocolate ice cream and I wanted the vanilla. So cannot wait to have those. Also, this is a new find for me at Fred Meyer. This is the Foster Farms Fajita Raw Chicken Breast Strip Saute Ready. So basically, these are chicken strips that are already seasoned with the fajita mix. There is nothing in these that counts as points. So I'm going to count these as zero points when I cook them. 
them. I am going to scan them just to see what they come up with. They may actually be points. You'll know here on the screen. If there's any type of oil or anything, of course, I'll count them. But I thought how easy just to throw this in with some veggies, roll them in a ole wrap, and you have a chicken fajita. So grab that. The rest of what I have is produce. So three peppers. This is for upcoming recipes for this next week. My little packs of carrots, which you know that I'm really enjoying. It is seriously so easy just to throw one of these pre-wrapped packages of carrots into my lunch each day. Coleslaw is for the recipe with the top ramen. So again, can't wait to share that with you guys. So coleslaw mix. Also some baby spinach. This is just for some upcoming recipes this next week. Along with my carrots, I thought that sugar snap peas sounded really good to have as a veggie. So I'll have a mix of those and these little baby carrots, and that'll be a nice snack throughout the week. Picked up a big pack of green onions from Trader Joe's. They literally have the best green onions. They're huge, and they are such great quality, and it's $1.30, I think, for this whole package. So I got those. Broccoli from Trader Joe's, which is also for an upcoming recipe. Blueberries from Trader Joe's. This is for eating as well as for that breakfast recipe with that lemon extract. Can't wait to share that. You'll see that. That collab will be uploaded on July 2nd and there's a ton of us participating. So definitely stay tuned for that. I've never purchased these, but I've heard all about these at Trader Joe's. These are the butternut squash zigzags. So what I'm going to do is throw these into my air fryer and I hear that they literally taste like French fries. So I'm super excited to have those zero points because all it is is butternut squash. I also grabbed a red onion for the kebabs and then some upcoming recipes. Mushrooms, I grabbed sliced for a recipe this next week. And then I grabbed the little whole baby Bellas for the kebabs. These are really easy just to slide on to the skewer. Also at Trader Joe's, such a great deal, two bucks, I think. And this is five zucchini squash. So this is for the kebabs and also an upcoming dinner recipe. Lots and lots of strawberries. Strawberries were four pounds for $5. So four of these containers for $5 at Fred Meyer. So I grabbed three, of course, for the angel food cake. And then the rest we will have just for snacks and things throughout the week. A watermelon, which I'm so excited about. I'm going to chop that up and we'll have that tonight with my in-laws. And then we can munch on it through the week. Also at Fred Meyer, grapes were 99 cents a pound fantastic deal. So I grabbed a big bag of red grapes and a big bag of black grapes. And I did forget to show you one thing that isn't produce. And that is my Jarlsberg light cheese that I grabbed from Trader Joe's. This cheese is a full thickness of a cheese slice. I mean, an actual thick slice of cheese and it is only one smart point. I don't know if you can find these other places. You leave that in the comments below for those of you that don't have a Trader Joe's, but every time I go to Trader Joe's, I grab another pack. So that is the Jarlsberg light cheese. So that is all of my groceries for this upcoming week. So let's get into the meal plan. So let's talk about this week's meal plan. This is my Carrie L meal planner. I've shown this, but a lot of you ask me to show it in these videos because you're new. So this this is the Carriel meal planner. I have the large eight and a half by 11 one. I love it. It is extremely high quality. It is absolutely gorgeous on the inside. I love it. There are several resources for you. There's the resource tab, and that is the one that you can list your favorite websites, recipe sites, blogs. Just keep a record of what your favorites are. Also in the inventory tab, you can do a freezer and a pantry inventory. So that's really nice just to kind of know what you have on hand when you're planning your grocery list. The tab I use the most, of course, is the meal planning tab. So we'll come back to that one. There's the gatherings tab. This is really cool too. You can actually plan all of your gatherings, the event, what you're planning on serving, and then there is also a detachable grocery list so that you can shop for your gathering. So I love that, that is awesome. And then of course there is the notes tab and they're just blank lined pages where you can basically take notes on anything that you wanna jot down. So maybe again, you know, your favorites or things that you wanna try. 
And then in the back, there is this cute little pocket folder and it's on both sides of the last page of it. It's really, really cute. I love it. I do have a 10% off discount. I will link it down in the description box below. Go ahead and go to the Cariel website and enter my code Jen's WW Journey, and you will save 10%. So let's get into this week's meal plan. So I love the planner because you can plan your meals by the month, which I always like to do. It's everything right at a glance. I can see what my plan is for the next day so that I can pull any meat out of the freezer or just make sure I have all the ingredients for that recipe. And then there is also a weekly menu plan. So you plan out each day what you're going to be having. And then there's a detachable grocery list as well, which I use every week for my groceries. So let's go to this week's meal plan. So you can see that the grocery list is gone. And my meal goes plan goes from Saturday through Friday. So this week I'm doing the Wendy plan, as you know. So my week looks just a little bit different. There isn't a big cheat day, although Saturday is my high point day. So this is Saturday. So this is my high point day on the Wendy plan. We're having dinner with my in-laws. We're doing kebabs, baked beans, watermelon, green salad, and then we're gonna have angel food cake for dessert. So that will be kind of my splurge for today. And then Sunday, I'm making the Felicia Fitness Health Chicken Stroganoff. I'm gonna make mine just a little bit different, but I'm copying her general recipe, and I'm gonna pair that with some veggies. Monday, I'm going to be making ground beef lo mein. Oh, sounds so good. So a copycat Chinese food recipe, and I'll probably pair that as well with some vegetables. Tuesday, I'll be making pepperoni pizza casserole. Yes, ma'am. That sounds so good, I cannot wait. Again, some veggies on the side. Wednesday will be beef enchiladas, which sounds amazing as well. And that is also paired with a veggie. And then Thursday and Friday are the days that I use leftovers. So that's my meal plan for the week. Now let's get into meal prep. So for meal prep this week for breakfast, I'm going to be making some hash brown egg cups. Wait till you guys see this recipe. So good. I'm going to pair that with some turkey bacon and some fruit. For lunches this week, I'm gonna be making a ramen noodle salad, and then I'm gonna go ahead and cook up some chicken on the side for zero points. So good, and probably have a fruit as well. And then the star of this week's show is my dessert, which are one Smart Point carrot cake cupcakes. One Smart Point, including frosting. So stay tuned for meal prep to see the dessert, the breakfast, and the lunch. So that is what's on my meal plan for this week. And again, this is my Carrie L meal planner. You can find this down in the description box. Use my code JensWWJourney for 10% off. Thank you for joining me for this week's WW Weekly Grocery Haul and Meal Plan. I hope you're excited about some of my new finds at both Fred Meyer, which is a Kroger store, and Trader Joe's. Again, make sure you grab yourself that baby right there, that Cariel Meal Planner. It is so awesome. They have several other planners and digital formats as well, so definitely check out their website. Also, I hope you are also as equally excited for meal prep. So I'll see you guys in the next video. If you're new, make sure you subscribe, hit the notification bell so you're notified each and every single time I upload. Give this one a thumbs up, comment down below, let me know what you think of this week's grocery haul and meal plan, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.